All right, let's go over it real quick. We record some of these videos. Go to daytradingthefutures.com. Go under training videos, and it helps you understand the uh, the system. This is a long side setup. I'm on crude oil, then we'll go over gold in a sec. I'm on crude right now. Now, the first thing you do, you log in, guys and gals. We use moving averages for trend direction. Let's go over this, and then I'll go over the next setups we're looking for. We use MAs for trend direction only, not support or resistance. Okay, so trend direction only. So the most important one when you first log in on any market you trade, this works on all markets. It doesn't matter what futures market you trade, stock, uh, Forex, or currency. You're going to look at this magenta MA. If it's angled up, we want to buy retracements. If it's angled down, we want to sell retracements. If it's horizontal, as flat as a pancake, you want to sell the high, buy the low. So if we're in an uptrend, we have certain places where we buy and sell off of. Let me show you the most important one. This blue solid line is going to be your most important line to look at to play off of on any given market. It's called the exact high on gold. It's just called the low on crude here this morning off the control point. That's called the control point. Let's, I'm going to go over left to right what this means. Um, I use left to right analysis. This left chart's my most important support and resistance chart. This chart over here, my middle chart gives me confirmation on motive and corrective ways, which I'll go over in a second. And then the far right chart, which I'll go over, that tells us when to get into the trade to the exact bar with low risk. So to set the trade up, though, we must go left to right analysis. We must look at the left chart, find the trend first. It's very obvious to the trader that we are trending up. This is a hard moving trend up. We've been trending up. We had a big buy signal down here at 3 o'clock this morning. Had a buy signal here at 5 o'clock this morning. Had a buy signal at 5.05. .05, and we had a recent buy signal just recently. So we have been only buying retracements. There's been no sells since 2 o'clock this morning, okay, as far as this chart goes by itself. It's all been market profile retracement buys. Your most important one is going to be the solid blue line. What the solid blue line represents, and I don't care what market you put it on, it will repel price all by itself. These solid lines are volume-based. So this solid line is a control point. It's a solid blue line. The solid blue is volume-based. It's been around since 1994. Now, what happens a lot is sometimes it will call it to the exact tick or within two to three ticks of calling the low and the high on any given market. Why? This blue solid line, it's unlike the many volume profiles you see out there. I take a lot of the volume that's in the market and take it out and only calculate the most important volume during the most important times. In other words, crude oil opens up at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I do not calculate certain volume from 6 p.m. until midnight. I don't calculate that volume in my calculation. So I only calculate the important volume on crude. And what this blue line represents, it represents the most volume that's traded during the session after midnight. So what it's showing me is showing me major support and major resistance. And this blue line can repel price all by itself. So how do we trade it? What we want to do is if we're in an uptrend, then we want to see that line be broken, retested, or retested. And once it retests, we want to look to go long at maximum. It's got to come within maximum two to three ticks of that line. Some days it'll stop to the exact tick like it did on gold here a second ago. So you want to see it. If you're in an uptrend, you want to see it come down, retest the blue, and you'll see a continuation. So that's called the control point. The solid lines are the most important lines you're going to see on this blue chart, the solid lines, because that's volume-based. That's a volume-based indicator. That is actually the internals of the market telling you when to buy and sell. So this is not old price action. This is strictly volume. Volume repels price all by itself. So that is a very key indicator I want you to be aware of. And if you go to daytradingthefutures.com, read that PDF, and it will explain to you what the control point's all about. But it really is a nice line to play off of. So in other words, when you log in, you are in an uptrend. You don't sell retracements. You're in an uptrend. So what we want to do when we come down and we're coming down to the high value area here, the red or the or the blue, um, you would look for a buy signal 
within two or three ticks of these. Now let me explain these lines before I tell you how to buy this. The if you look at the red line, that's high value area, okay? And the low value is in the green. So I got these are the three most important lines that's going to be on this chart. Red is high value, blue is a control point, you can stop it all by itself, and then green is the low value. All profiles. I have four different profiles that I put on here. Three on this chart and one on this chart. I'll show you how we had a trade on this chart, a real easy corrective wave this morning on this chart in a second. But the bottom line is this is, uh, the, I got three profiles. The most important profile are these solid lines. You must take all trades off these solid lines if they have a stacked area. This is a stacked area, which is two times confluence. I'll show you what that is. The solid, so those solid lines are volume based. High value red, control points and most volume that's traded in that instrument during the during the session can repel price all by itself. And then low value would be your green. Okay. If I look at the dotted lines, it's the same exact thing. The dotted lines are more price based. It's been around since 1985. The dotted lines are control would be dotted, dotted, dotted control. The red would be the HVA, the LVA would be in green. So what I want to see is I want to see these overlap. And when they overlap, I have what's called a stacked area. And don't make this very difficult. You see a lot of lines on here, but it's very easy to trade. Because what I want to do is I want to see where areas are stacked right over top of each other. Where do they stack right on top of each other within a couple ticks? I can clearly see my price profile, which are the dots. Now the dots are static, and they'll update periodically during the day. Where my volume lines won't move, until the control point actually moves. Once this solid blue line moves, it's going to move this red and green line according, according to my calculation. So, but the, the price profile will not move for us. So the price profile, the solid, I mean the dotted lines are static. They'll come in bunches, in three bunches, meaning control, low value, high value, at periodic times during the session. Where my volume won't move until there's a new uh, high volume area that's been established. So what we would do then is, is that if the market's in an uptrend, which it was, then I want to, when I'm coming back down for a retracement, I want to see where the areas are stacked. What areas do I have a stack that are in a couple ticks of each other? Now, the, the price profile, which are the uh, blue dots, and then the volume profile, which are the solid line, those were two times confluence. Look how they stack right on top of each other. Now, I just told you that volume can, uh, the highest volume traded in that session can repel price all by itself. You're going to see hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of trades. This has been working since 1994 where I can take any market and I can show you where this blue line will stop markets almost to the tick. I say within two, maximum three ticks, and then we look for a buyer sell signal with trend. But there's days where this will stop like it did on gold in that big trade. It will stop almost to the exact tick some days. That's how important this blue line is because that's the most volume that's been traded in the session. So what we want to do then if we're in an uptrend, I want to look for a buy retracement, okay? There's going to be two spots. I, I, I can't sell high value in an uptrend. I can only buy low value, or I can look for a breakout retest of high value or retest of the control point. In other words, I'm looking to buy retracements at stacked areas. If I'm in an uptrend, here's my stacked area, two times stacked area. Once it comes within two ticks of that, I'm going to use my market delta to the far right, and the market delta will show me a buy imbalance, a green bar close over here, which I'll go over in a second. So you want to look for retracements with trend that are stacked. The first test of that area, that stacked area, is going to be the best area to look for a buy signal. Okay? So let, let me explain a little bit something else to you. Is that the market gets very, very, uh, we have a high probability trade when the market does one thing. When you're in between these volume profiles, the market is in a balanced market. If you get outside of these profiles and you get outside of those three lines, it becomes out of balance. When you get in an out of balance market, you'll see a big push in the market because that's when it's stopping out of the wrongly positioned traders. When it, when it gets outside, and you'll see it tomorrow, you'll see it the next day for some of you new traders, once it gets outside of these three lines, meaning outside of the red and outside the green, you're going to see a lot of traders that are wrongly positioned get stopped out. You'll see a hard move in the market. That's when we're going to look for a simple ABC pattern or one, two, three, and we're going to look for a retest, and you'll look for a simple long. 
it, that's your pattern you're going to look for. You're going to look for a breakout outside of the balanced area, and that's a typical um, little pattern we look for. Same thing happened on gold on that big gold trade we had this morning too. It got out of balance, went below, retested the control point to the exact tick, and it tanked here a second ago. So this is the this is what we look for when we're inside of these areas. This is called a balanced market. That's balanced. You get outside of the volume profile, you become out of balance, and this is when we're looking for a setup. So when it became out of balance, you knew you had yourself a possible big retracement long. This long was very, very easy, two-time stacked area long. Now, so that's, that's what we do on this, this black chart. We look for stacked areas. I look to see where these profile levels are going to stack over top profile levels. Now, what I have, I just told you, is I have volume profiles, my solid lines, and price profile is my dotted lines, my, my larger dotted. I do have long-term profiles I trade off of. They're down here. And those levels, when they stack over top, again, my volume profile, I have a nice solid trade on that also. But those would be levels I'll go over a second after we get done with the video. So you want to see stack levels with trend. That's my whole methodology. I'm trying to let the areas break. I'm trying to let them retest within two, maximum three ticks. I'm not saying five or ten ticks away. This market profile, I've got it dialed in so well that it's so accurate, it should stop within two, maximum three ticks. Then after it stops within a maximum of two or three ticks, it comes within two or three ticks. I don't look for market profile over here, I mean market delta, to fire myself in on a, on a, on a trade for a long side setup. So let's say I came down this control point within two ticks and my market delta closes green. I'll open the position at the next bar on my market delta, this market delta at the open of this bar. My stop loss is going to be two ticks below the swing low. And my next target is going to be my symmetry dots up here if you were going to go long on this last market delta long. So you would actually look for a market delta buy, two ticks within market profile. Your stop loss is two ticks below that swing low on market delta. That's how we trade in the room. And then my symmetry dots on this white chart would be our target within two ticks. Okay, so that's how we trade the overall methodology of the setup. Let's go over to the white chart. The white chart's a little bit different. There's only a couple trades that we do. We don't trade all these dots on the white chart. I'll, I'll tell you how, which ones we do trade. The best dots to trade are the dots that first break outside or inside of my red or green lines. This is developing profile. This is a really easy corrective wave short. I have a red line and I have a green line on this chart. You'll see the green line all the way down here. The first break outside of that green line or the first break outside of this red line is a big buy setup. A first break back inside, a first retracement is a nice sell setup. What we do as traders is we look for the first break inside or outside of this red and green and look for the first retracement. That's what we're looking for. Same thing happened on gold on that big gold short. Gerald roll over to gold real quick. I'll show you exactly how it lines up. How it lines up is that if you look at gold on that last big gold short we had off of volume profile, this is exactly how I want to line up. Right here, Gerald, go over to gold. Gerald, roll over to gold, Gerald. Hold on one sec. Let me see if I get with Gerald. Okay, uh, I'll go over to gold, Gerald. I want it to line up like this on the white chart. These are your white chart trades I want you to take. We were in a downtrend. Look how it broke outside of my green line right here. That's my developing profile. Remember, I have four profiles in the room. This is a gimme setup because it broke below low value, it retested low value, and I had negative market delta. This is exactly when it hit my black control point also. So my black control point, my black chart control point, the most volume that was traded in gold was exactly at my Fibonacci retracement. And that is what's called confluence. It was exactly right here, right exactly on top of it, stopped, stopped almost to the exact tick. That was the most volume that traded in gold for the day the session. So what it did on this white chart, it broke down through it, retested. I do not take all Fibonacci retracements on this white chart. I only take the ones that are breaking inside or outside of my developing low value or high value on the white chart for the first retracement. If it's confluing with your overall J signal, I mean overall market profile chart 
on my volume or price. So you can see, you can match it up very well. That was a very easy trade. That's why I asked a lot of you traders if you got on this, and what you did, it's a very easy trade. Over $600, depending where you get in. If you got higher up here, it was over a $700 trade. This was over a $600 trade per one contract. Your maximum risk on the trade, again, is two ticks above the swing high, so 130 bucks. But that's how we do it. We use the white chart to confirm our retracements with trend, our overall retracements with trend. Like if you look right here, what happened, look how the market changed, changed sentiment when it got back inside my developing profile. It got inside my developing profile. We had a positive market delta, and then we went up. It got below my profile. We had negative market delta, and then she shot down. This is where you want to get the inflection point on this white chart, and this is where you want to get the inflection point on the white chart. Okay? You usually get two shots at it on the white chart. You'll get a wave three and a wave five. So you'll get one here, one there, and you'll get another retracement, which is trying to do now on gold. Okay? Go back to crude drill. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I look for Gerald Crude. Let me get Gerald over here again. All right, so what I want to do then, guys and gals, is I want to buy and sell retracements with overall trend direction, right, with trend. When it comes with two ticks, maximum three ticks of my market profile levels, volume being the most important. Anything that stacks over top each other, we will get a big inflection point. Then what we do is we use market delta over here to show us the big sell or buy and balance between the bid and the ask to let us know that there's going to be a big inflection point at that exact time. 